right to recording so hi you guys and welcome to my channel i'm back with a new video and we're gonna check it out mike tyson this video is called how mike tyson got revenge for muhammad ali i remember this situation and uh, let's read the description mike tyson was a kid training under customado when larry holmes beat down muhammad ali in 1980 the next morning mike spoke to ali for the first time mike tyson made a promise to avenge the fallen icon as a teenager as a man in 1988 mike tyson was reminded what he promised years ago it was some new things here but i, I am familiar with the story so i'm not gonna ramble let's get straight into it hold on okay let's see it's october 2nd 1980 ali fights larry home we go to Albany, New York. We live in Cassidy. We go 30 miles north to Albany, New York, and we watch it on pay-per-view. After the fight, we got in the car. No one talked. So we drove 30 miles back to Catskill. We all opened the door. We all went to our rooms. We never talked. The next morning, Cus is on the phone with Muhammad Ali. Cus is calling Larry home so many bad. How do you let that bum hit on you, Chad Ali? How do you the bum? Why do you let that bum beat on you? You know, Cus he's almost getting sensitive, you know, emotional. Why is the bum almost crying? This a bum. Why you gonna hit you? Why you gonna beat her? So I talked to Ali on the phone. Then when I get big, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him for you. I'm gonna revenge you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna restore your honor. After a career outlasting and enduring some of the hardest punchers and some of the most brutal fights, Ali had finally fallen off completely. He had trouble coordinating the muscles he used in speech. The Parkinson's had begun to take hold. His kidneys were failing. His own doctor quit his corner rather than have anything to do with it. Larry Holmes learned at the sight of the great as a sparring partner, but the time had come to step out of Ali's shadow and into the spotlight. It came to a head in 1980 when Larry got his shot at the title. That same legendary stubbornness that kept Clay in wars as a young man was still keeping Ali in fight after fight as an old one. There comes a point where enough is enough. Yeah. For Ali, Manila and Joe Frazier were enough five years earlier. Now, the student had grown into the master. The master into a frail old man. I mean, he was Ali sick. You don't have to be, like, you know, uh, sick because you're old. It's, some people just need to quit early. Some people get out of the sport healthy and can live a decent life, you know, after retirement, but... Hellish beating for far longer than the world could stand to watch. Legends die hard, and Ali is learning... Take those hits, I can imagine, but, like, you know, you... ...cannot be forever. You have Parkinson's? Nobody was happy about it. Least of all, Larry Holmes. See, is that Don King? Like, in previous clips, I thought that I saw... I was like, no, I didn't see him, I saw. He'd asked the ref to stop it and even cried during a post-fight interview. Really respect Ali a whole lot. It hurt you to punish him that way, didn't it? I feel that he fought in one of the baddest heavyweight in the world today, and you cannot take credit from him. Aww. I didn't know this. I haven't seen... Like... The love for Muhammad Ali overflowed out many eyes that night. It was in upstate New York in the Catskills, where a teenage mutant Mike! person is brooding. <laughs> Mike Tyson was adopted by Cus D'Amato. Cus had been training champions since the 50s. Floyd Patterson was the youngest heavyweight champion ever at age 21. As an older fighter, Floyd and Cus fought Ali twice. Falling short both times. It's like day and night. And the other guy is professional too, but like, see the difference. Less than a half. Oh, no. Yeah, no chance. <laughs> this is not fair. Nothing to fight. 
Patterson doesn't want it stopped. But they're right, they're stopping it for the protection of the land himself. Ali was stripped of his title you know for what? refusing to fight oh. in Vietnam. Badly in need of money, an idea hits him. Ali calls Cuss. They create a documentary called AKA Cassius Clay, which was two hours of Cuss and Ali verbally sparring I've over seen hypothetical this. fights between Ali. I didn't know the background of it though. I've heard, but I didn't know that they connected like that. And past champions. At one point, the sparring goes physical, and Cus manages to land a jab on a chastened Ali. Cus told Ali he'd lose to Joe Frazier. As usual, Cus was right. Again, Ali calls Cuss. This time, from a hotel in Zaire, the night before his immortal performance in the Rumble in the Jungle. Mm -hmm. In a rare moment of shaken confidence, Ali asked his old friend how to handle the wrecking machine. Cuss told Ali bullies don't like getting stood up to. He told Ali to hit Foreman hard early to get his respect. All those legendary lead right hands Ali landed early were a result of that conversation. Mm. So much stories and details that I don't know. That comes to light now. But... Back in 1980, the morning after the most tragic fight where nobody died, Ali calls his old friend once more. Mm. Mike overhears Cuss getting emotional. I'm on the phone, I'm crying. I and he was saying, but I said, when I get big, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him for you, I'm gonna revenge you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna restore your honor. From that moment on, Mike Tyson was focused on nothing but beating Larry Holmes like a dog in the street. Under Cuss's <laughs> perceptive gaze, Tyson perfected the peekaboo style. It was a style made for Tyson 30 years before he was yeah. alive. It emphasized head movement and pressure-based counterpunching. It mm. allowed a shorter man to get up close and murderous on the inside. Oh yeah, like the, At immediately. The, time, the heavyweight Ooh. division was full of tall Ooh, you jabbers. See? It turned Body with the hits and one into an opportunity to counter. Mm. Mike did not need to land much to end a fight. When you combine that with Mike's natural ferocity, he became a generational recipe distilled or destruction. On the other hand, Larry was a gritty champion with a genius jab. Unforgiven by the fans oh. for his vivisection of Ali, Larry did all he could. He rose to the championship occasion in an epic 15-round war. Yeah, no hate Ali's towards him at all. Ken Norton to take the title. Not even that could put aside anger of the Legion of Ali fans. Larry got bitter. Fans weren't shy about their dislike of him. Larry was more than happy to clap back. He seemed like a respectful guy, no? Like from the few clips. <sighs> Holmes had his undefeated streak broken by Michael Spinks. Yeah, see, I see Donkey. Look at look at him. I see him in the crowd. Like Can I concentrate? Try not to look in the crowd. <sighs> He'd come up from light heavyweight to win a tight decision and the championship, ending Larry's run at Rocky Marciano's record. After losing an even tighter decision in the rematch, Larry retires furious in 1986. Oh. It appeared Tyson would never get the chance to avenge his idol. In Slithers, Don King, three million dollars. Boo, boo, boo! What did he say? Ugh. Idol. 
in Slithers, Don King. Three million dollars and a title shot at Tyson proved too good for Larry to pass on. He was 38 years old and had been retired for two years. The chip on his shoulder and zeros in his bank account were too big to ignore. Against everyone's better judgment, Larry, just like Ali before him, couldn't turn down one last fight against a killer. Ali. Don King is not special. Like what he did was not magic. So people say, yeah, he was like the best promoter. Like he, he might have been the biggest promoter, but I, I'm not giving him no credit at all. He was a snake. Made the trip. Very disgusting. No morals. No. Before he left the ring, he leaned in. To me, like I understand. Look at him. I understand that people, everyone trying to make money and stuff like that, but it's definitely limits to certain things, and he just broke all of them. Like, there's just no, no credit at all given at him. No. He, like I said, he didn't do nothing magical, special. So many other people could have, but some people get in position and doing bad things. That's what it comes down to. And reminded Tyson what he promised years ago. No, oh, he had not forgotten. Sorry. And then January 22nd, I'm fighting him. And then Ali comes into the ring and says, He shouldn't be around me. those breaks. He's gonna be in there with a beast. He doesn't sit right. Professional fighter. I but he's not care. unique. Not he's not special. It's a lot of people like him. Any way he wants to fight, I am capable of fighting any way anybody wants to fight. Tyson took his first chunks out of Larry's ribcage as he tried to circle off the ropes. <laughs> Michael, get. <laughs> <laughs> He's been waiting for this. He said, "Where you go?" In total fear. <laughs> Larry was a former Penn State champion wrestler, and against Mike mm. Tyson, his grappling pedigree was the only thing that kept him standing. Brilliant defense. Mike really hasn't been able to catch him flush yet. Larry Holmes had the best jab in boxing history, and Mike made getting around it look easy. <laughs> is that is, is the four, hunger that Tyson can take you places you didn't think you could reach? That made his words come true. Tyson swarmed on Holmes and finished the old man quickly. How quick? What round? Was the only knockout of Larry Holmes's career. somebody like Ali or what's somebody that's really the real deal then I know I'm not great when you see greatness then you know that's not me that's nah. just my ego no that's just my ego Ali will fight you till he die you have to kill him he's not gonna quit I want to believe that I'm that guy my ego tells me that, but the, the reality of it is that I love my beautiful wife. I love this life that I have. I can do almost anything. And I might I might not want to give this up just to prove that I'm a tough guy. But that has nothing to do with tough. Like but Ali would. That's what I know. Everybody can call me what they want and this and that. I'm no greater than Mike as I am, but I know. I know what greatness is. It was just unfortunate that he got the... I know what real greatness is. Because I, maybe I'm sounding stupid, but I'm not sure if Ali would have stopped earlier, like, would, uh, like, his Parkinson, I don't know if it was only Parkinson or more that he had, but it wouldn't have got as worse as it did, or it didn't matter, like, they couldn't stop it. Uh, probably if you, he would have quit earlier, I think. Oh, well. Uh, a lot of things in this video. A beautiful video, though. Really enjoyed it. I hope you guys did, too. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff, and hopefully I'll see you guys in another video. Appreciate you watching, and I just want to give credit to everyone in this video. Holmes, 
uh, Ali Tyson, like all oh, everyone except Don King. Okay, that's it. Everyone except Don King in this video. You know, much respect. I'm at the right there. <laughs>